Please, Uncle Martins. Please. Come on, darling. You know your mother won't agree to this. You know her. I know. And that is why I want you to talk to her. Look, if you're able to convince my mother, she would definitely allow me to go. You know how much I want to go. Please. Uh, okay, fine. I'll talk to her and see if I can get her to agree. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Thank you. I fun. knew I could always count on you. Hmm, like one to three, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's all right. I better start going before she gets here. Okay. You know your mom. I know. <laughs> and my regards to Coco and Auntie Adele. Oh, no, yeah. I'll yeah. tell them. All right. But don't forget to talk to her, okay? Oh. Hi. What are you doing Sis. here? <laughs> Good to see you too. Uh oh. But you didn't tell me you were coming. Ah, uh, no. I just came to see my niece. Don't worry. I'm leaving already. Please, don't sound as if I'm chasing you away. Oh, well, that's what it seems like right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I better get going. Really? Irene, good night. Good night. Yes, yes. It's all right, my darling. So, enjoy your evening. I will do the best I can be. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Bye. All right, bye bye. <laughs> so, um, hey, mom, you're welcome. Glowing as ever. Mom, you are the one glowing. <laughs> Can't you see? <laughs> You're still not talking to me. Don't you think you've been taking too much of ice cream lately? Young lady, at some point you still have to talk to me. You can't stay in my house and ignore me. Then maybe I will just leave your house. Everything I do, it's for your own good. I don't even know what to do. It's been five days now. She's not even talking to me anymore. Then why don't you let her go? At least Matt is giving some proof. Tayo, don't even go there. Whose side are you on? What is wrong with all of you? What is wrong with everybody? Why are you not looking at things from my own angle? 
She can't be all by herself. You know this. Oh, have you forgotten? No, 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 no. I have forgotten. I just feel it. So, Tayo, I don't know why you're encouraging this. She's not going and that is fine. Did it just... You know what? I would love to go to bed. Good night. I will leave. Huh? Springs and the sands of time So the world You'll know that I left something behind into the huh? road and I saw reasons to smile My darling, I know you are not happy with me. I know. But you should understand that everything I do, I do it because I love you. I do it because I care. Everything I do, it's for your own good. It's for your own interest. I know you are not so happy about this service thing. But please, let it go. Hmm? Let it slide. I love you so much. I love you, my love. Well, I'm off to work now. When I get back from work, we'll talk. Hmm? I want you to know that mommy loves you. I love you so much. Be good and remain blessed. Surprise you're supporting her. But she's of age too. I said no. She's not going anywhere. Mom, mom, please. Please, just this once. Just this once. I promise you I'll be fine. I'll be okay, mom. I win. I said please. no. And no is fine. Hmm? Mom. Oh, God, Martin, say something. Please. Tell mom something. Seriously, Mom, this is not fair. Seriously, this is not fair. This is not fair. I'm tired. What is this?
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mom, just, just calm down, okay? I'm fine. And I'm sorry I left the way I did. I couldn't tell you because you tried to stop me from leaving and I couldn't have that. Whether I stay locked up at home or I'm here, I'm still going to die. And I'd rather die knowing that I at least experienced life in one way than locked up. What's wrong with this girl? What does she know? What does she know? What does she know? <laughs> She's not picky. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Tayo, Tayo, Irene is gone. Irene is gone. He's gone. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> What does she know? What does she know? God help me. What do I do? What do I do? God help me. Irene has left me. She's out there all by herself. What if something happens to her? What if? I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. Nothing is going to help me so hard. I'm sure she's safe. Safe? Yeah. How can she be safe? She has never left home without my consent. So, how can, how, what if something goes wrong? You, you, you're all getting worked up. And it's not good. You need to calm down. Don't worry. We're going to look for her. Just calm down. You know, maybe if you had let her go, this wouldn't have happened. What are you saying, Martin? Is that something I should know? What are you talking about? Yes! The last time I came to the house, I saw you and Irene discussing. Are you on this matter, Martins? Did you help Irene run away? Don't be ridiculous here! Come on, Tilda! Why, why would I help her run away? Why would I do something like that? Because you of all people see nothing wrong in Irene leaving the house without telling me! I don't even know it! <laughs> you just don't get it! I'm just trying to protect my baby. I said, just doesn't it's care. Okay, okay. <laughs> she doesn't care. Oh, it's, fine. it's okay, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. Well, I, I, I'm sorry, sis. You know, I, I guess we are all on the edge here. You're making it look like I don't care about Irene. I do as well. Well, I, I, I spoke with Coco this morning and... Uh, she said Irene is fine. Did Irene call her? Yes, yeah, she said so. So? Why is she? She said Irene wouldn't disclose her location. That's a lie. Yes. Your daughter is covering up for her. How will she say she doesn't know where Irene is? Is that something I should know? Talk to me. She's dated the obvious. She doesn't know where she is. I think she mentioned something like... Uh, Going to the stage where she's going to be serving. This child will not kill me. This child will not kill me. Oh my God. You can't oh my God. You, you, okay. you were working yourself here. I mean, it's going to be fine. All right. I'll keep trying her line until I'm able to connect with her. Let's hope she picks my call. It's okay. Please. Give me Irene. She, Give me. Okay. I, hey. I want to see my daughter. You will see her. So trust me on this. It's okay. Tayo, I, I need to take care of something at the okay. hospital. Okay. Right? okay. But please, make sure she doesn't join me in the stupid class. Hey, hey. It's okay. I love you, sis. Thank you. It's okay. 
Thank you. Let me see you up to your room. You only had to rest in three days. You need to rest. How can I sleep? Honey, how can I sleep when my daughter is missing? She's not missing. She's coming up. I know in my gut that I will see. She's a smart and strong girl. I should call her soon, okay? It's okay. But Let's she's go. out there all she by herself. Soon. It's okay. She can't. It's okay. She just needs to come back home. She needs to come back home. Okay. Why are you talking like this? Why are you saying this? Martins, why are you encouraging her? You are a doctor. You should know better. I am a doctor. Yes, but don't also forget that I am her uncle. Tilda, you, you, you worry too much about this girl. And I am aware of that. But she'll be fine. I mean, that girl has been locked up all her life from this world. It's been 23 years. She has practically defied all medical predictions. It's a miracle she's still alive. Just let her have this wish for once. Martins, I'm surprised at you. You should know better. I'm surprised at what you're saying. For 23 years, I've been crying to God. I've been begging God. I have been telling God to keep this girl for me. And God has answered my prayer. Now I cannot let everything fly. I can't. She can't be out of my sight. Martins, what if something goes wrong? What if something happens? What if... Hey, there you go again. You're worrying too much here. Irene will be fine. Right? Okay, she will serve here. Okay? And... She doesn't have to come or do any of those rigorous activities. I personally make sure I see to that. Okay, just, just relax a little bit more. Look, I think in my opinion, it is only fair you allow her have this wish so she can experience life at least for once. I love you, Martins. Thank and you. I appreciate everything you've done for her since she was born. Thank you. But the truth of the matter is this. She's going away. I can't. And I will not lose her. You're still insisting? The way you're going about this whole thing, I hope you don't push her away further. Hi. <coughs> Ah, you're here already. How are you? I think why you're blowing sleep in my office. You pay for lodging. Yeah? <laughs> okay, How are you? I'm fine, thank ah, you. Patrick and I discussed and your PPA letter is ready. Oh. So let me get it for you. Yeah? All right. Irene, Irene. Irene. <laughs> Agatha! 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 This is the Agatha! What is good about the day? How many times will I have to call you before you answer me? I'm sorry, Ma. Is where is the PPA letter I gave to you uh, two days ago? My, I left it on your desk. Which desk? I'll be searching this desk. Am I or am I now blind? No. I come and look for it now because I've searched everywhere. It's not. It's not. It's not anywhere here. How am I supposed to know it's inside an envelope? I'm sorry. Please, please. 
Eh, eh, I read, I Yes, sorry that I don't mind that here again. Your letter is here. Eh? Yeah. A beautiful girl. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Eh, mm. hey, but um, are you sure you want to serve in that school? Because there are better places that you can serve, and they will even pay you well, sir. Ah, uh, yes, ma. I, I love to teach, and I love children. So it's not about the money. It's more than that for me. <laughs> okay, well, it is like your boy children. Your thinking is different, though. Yeah. Yes, well. yes ma. Yeah. Um, okay. Patrick said you would help me with accommodation. Yes, that's true. That's true. Okay. Let me just give you the address okay. and the number. Right. Yeah. There's a new lodge. It's a nice accommodation. I think you will like it. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So just call this number. Okay. His name is uh, Austin. He's a batch president. And he also stayed there. So I think he should be able to help you out. Thank you, ma'am. I'll definitely be chatting. God bless you. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but uh, God can start using you to bless me now. You know that uh, mama needs some. No problem. Please, ma'am. 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 A very good girl. Thank you. Eh? Thank All you right. very much. Please take care of yourself eh? really and stay safe. <laughs> Agatha! Uh, okay. Um, yes, yes. I think I'm here. Okay, all right. Hi. Hi. Irene. Austin. Yes. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, tired. Sorry. Thank well, you. Um, I'm Austin. I'm the NYC Badge B president. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Um, so this is the lodge. Wow, it's it's really nice. I mean, nicer than I expected. Actually, it's new. It's a very beautiful place. The flats are beautiful. Oh. Um, you love it. Okay. Don't worry, you love it. And it's more cheaper than the normal. So, um, can I see them? Of course. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Sure. Thank you. So, how was your journey? Uh, it was great. Oh. You know, it's usually very stressful. <laughs> yeah. So, actually, all the flats are two bedrooms. Two bedrooms? Yes, two bedrooms. Oh, that's too big. I mean, I'm only staying alone. But you don't have to. What most of us did was get a flatmate and split the bill. Oh. Yeah, but right now, all the flats are filled. Filled? Yes. Um, but there might be a flat that needs a flatmate. Oh, thank God. I was about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> cry baby, yeah. It's all good. But even at that, there might be a little issue. Oh, my goodness. 
boom 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 sha. Yeah. Ah. Sha. <laughs> boom 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 sha. Oh. Big time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Presentation. <laughs> Oh, nice to meet you too. Oh, the, the pleasure is all my Irene. Irene. <laughs> okay, go for this. Um, um, Irene here is in need of accommodation. Oh, 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 really? Yeah. Really? Oh, nice. Oh, Father, Father Lord, just as I prayed for, just as I fasted 40 days, 40 nights. Oh, God, you are good at protection. Look at beauty. Look at beauty. <laughs> so what time will I go? I don't know. I mean, girl, Irene, you are going to be my flatmate. I mean, my new flatmate. What? Yes. What? That was what I was trying to tell you before you came along. Kofo here stays in this flat, which means there's an unoccupied room here. And he has paid the rent in full. Should you decide to stay here, you would have to pay half. So Wait, are you suggesting that I stay with him? I am not suggesting anything like that. I'm just putting it out there so that you know this is an option before we go to other lodges. But I got I have to say, I have to say, you won't find a better <laughs> like this deal is is a fantastic deal. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. My dear, this is not a bad idea. This is a bad, it's a good idea. See, Irene, if you are set to stay here with me to be my new flatmate, my dear. You'll be so happy. There's a lot of opportunity that you will not, you know, allow yourself to lose. You understand? Especially broken heart, my dear. You will not get broken heart. You will never feel bored. Here, you will see happiness, my dear. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, then. You are going to be my new flatmates. And I want to me and you. I mean, <laughs> you can ask around. I'm awesome. Uh, I bet you are. But... I can't stay. I can't. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. See, my dear, listen. <laughs> I know what you are thinking. You know. I mean, look at me. No, just look. Take a closer look at me, my dear. I'm harmless. I mean, look at me. I'm a fool. Sorry. I mean, I'm. I'm a handsome guy. I'm a nice guy, my dear. You know. You. I'm, I'm harmless. You know, when you come and stay here, you have your room. I have my room. The only place I'm in, I will go is the kitchen and the, you know, the parlor. And apart from that place, you know, I don't know, I don't worry you. It's not, it's not a promise that I will not worry you. But I mean, I'll, I'll be saying hi. I mean, I'll be knocking your door to check up on you because, you know, we are now same roof, you know. Your safety is my safety, you understand? Yeah. So uh, you are safe, my dear. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I know Kofo. Kofo here is a nice guy. Yeah. I can vouch for him. I mean, besides, you won't find a better, a better flatmate anyway. You can vouch for him? Look, if if something goes wrong. Oh come on! I promise. I promise. You're in safe hands. Safe hands. Okay. <laughs> nice meeting you again. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Flatmates. <laughs> so, uh, where is my room? Yeah, let's let's go there. Let me show you our house. You know, hey. our house. <laughs> ladies first. Sure. Ladies first. Go oh, ladies first. Okay. I lift up my eyes unto the hills from where cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord God which made heaven and earth. He would not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is a shade upon the right hand. The sun will not smite me by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord God will preserve me from all evil. Ancient of days you shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in. From this time forth and even forevermore. Lion of the tribe of Judah, ancient of days, the I am that I am. Of Jesus Christ, show me mercy, O Lord. Bring my daughter back. Bring her back home. Order her footsteps back home. Fight this battle for me, O Lord. Bring her back home. Bring her to me, O Lord. Bring her to me, O Lord. Bring her to me, O Lord. <laughs> oh, 
Irene! Sunshine, is that you? Where have you been? Where are you? Are you okay? Have you eaten? Tell me, where are you? Okay, just tell me where you are. I will take the next available flight and be with you. Where are you? So, I just called to let you know I'm fine and you don't have to worry about me. Whether I stay locked up at home or I'm here, I'm still going to die. And I'd rather die than that I have to express I don't want to be locked up. And if you can understand mom, you can take care of yourself. No, no, no. Irene, Irene! Let me dial this number back. Why is this girl doing this to me? Why is she doing this to me? Spent years and years scared of the day I will be gone. No one, it will not be me anymore. A good day to me has been a lie. So I'll live and get enough of this. Life. I'm coming. Just pull me down, so don't try to change my mind. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm looking for Kofo. Oh, Kofo. Um. Kofo! Ah! Kofo! Ah! Um. It's for you. Who, who, who is that? Pave the way for the kid. Ow! Oh, 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 beautiful. Wow. <laughs> if I enter your motto, bum, 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 I'm going to make you to shout. Hey. Oh, wow, girl, you're looking so beautiful. Slim and sexy like Arista. What a bombshell. <laughs> oh, come, 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 sit down. No, I'm here for my frying pan. Fine, don't worry. Please come and come and say hi. No, please just get my frying pan. I know you. I know this face you are doing. This, this attitude you are showing. See, she's just a friend. I mean, she's just a new flatmate. Okay? Flatmate? Yeah, she's Irene. My new flatmate. Good for you. You finally got one. Oh. Can you please get my fried pan now? Patri. Patri. It's okay. You let me get your fried pan. Okay? I'm coming. Hey! So get your fried pan. Get your fried pan. Um, hi. Hi, I'm Irene. Hi, I am Patra. Are you a copper too? Yes, I am. I just moved in. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, ah, okay. New this flat is a fine one. This is a fine one. Pave the way for the king. Pave the way for the king. Okay, yeah, here's your fine one. Ah, ah. Calm down, at least if you hold it, you be romantic small. I use this frying pan to fry a big lizard. Before I'm late for work, can I have my frying pan? A big lizard. <laughs> Hi, Irene. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you too. And thank you too. No, not even a hug. Pat, Pat. Ah, Kofo. Your girlfriend? Oh, do we strike like couples? Mm, kind of. You know, I sense some kind of tension when she was looking at me. <laughs> I hope she's not angry. Oh, you know, she's not even my girlfriend here too. Oh. You haven't asked her out yet. You know, I've been trying to woo her, but you know, uh, yeah, she's so difficult. Mm. You know. Don't worry, just keep it up. Mm? I need to get ready for work. <laughs> what? Do you know I'm here to break my virginity? Oh, mm. wow. Yeah. Then ask her out immediately. Yeah, my dear, Konji, Konji is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, and how are you today? Fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Please sit. My children, I have with me here Miss Irene. So from today, she will be your new class teacher. Okay? So I want you all to be nice and polite to her. Over to you. Thank, thank you. Mom. If there's any question you need to ask, don't hesitate to come to me. My office door is always open for you. Okay? All right. Thank you, Mom. I've been busy. Yes, Mom. 
Hello children. Hello Miss Irene. So my name is Miss Irene and I would love to know your names. So starting from you. Um, Fortune, stop sleeping and read your book, okay? Today was amazing. I got to the school where I'll be teaching for the next one year. And I met with my new student. At first, I was really nervous. But the kids were so sweet and they helped me ease into character. There is this particular kid though, his name is Dixon. He seems to be a slow learner. Most of his classmates make fun of him and he doesn't seem to have friends. Kind of reminded me of myself when I was younger. I intend to make him my personal project and I'm excited for this new phase of my life. Even though I may not have a long time, but I'm ready. I won't let this pull me down, so don't try to change my mind. <sighs> So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last. So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until all it's done. So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last. Harry. Oh. I'm I'm coming. Uh, coming. Come in. May I come in? Yes, come in. My dear, call me your gist lover. Call me your tinder head nuts. Gossip me. What the bombshell? <laughs> eh? Go eh? Just me, just me. How did it go? How did it go? Oh. It went well. It oh. was amazing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the kids were so cool. Mm -hmm. The other teachers were really nice and the headmaster was very nice oh, as well. Oh, oh. We, we, we bless God. We thank God that they treated you well. The children treated you well. And all that. I can almost, you know, predict your future in that school. Very soon now, you just receive an award, best teacher of the year award. Hey. Amen. <laughs> oh, Irene, Irene, I'm, 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 I'm happy that um, you are okay. You are okay. But I hope, I hope you hope you are fine. Yes, I'm fine. Anybody worrying you? Like who? You know, like, like, you know. <laughs> well, fine. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll, I'll be sleeping. Mm. Okay then. If you need anything, let me know. All right, sure. Okay. All right. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, Irene, Irene. <laughs> so, class, you have ten minutes to finish your classwork, and don't forget that the person with the highest score gets a reward from me. So get to work, okay? <laughs> Okay.
Hey, bestie. Madam, it's almost to be a well in God's head, are you? In school, where I work as a teacher, to 12 amazing kids. Hey, I thought today is your CDS. Yes, I know, but I decided to skip because I was missing my kids. <laughs> are you serious? Wow. God bless your good heart, too. But anyways, I'm going to need you to be on your way back. It's very important, madam. Very, very important. What is it? You come first. You can be on your way. Come. When you arrive, I will tell you. We should be in the next one hour. Uh, see you. Wait. Wait. All right. Bye. Irene. What? I mean, what's so important that you had to drag me away from my kids? No, wait, wait, just, just, just guess a little. I mean, just no, guess. No, not again. You know I don't like to guess. Guess a little, little, little bit. Just, just Tell guess. me, what is it? What? I mean, mm -hmm. Patrick and I are officially couples. <gasps> It's a lie. We 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 even kissed. <gasps> Deep kissed. Like well, Wait, well, are, you, are you serious? <laughs> Deep kiss. You know when you went when you went out in the morning, you know, she came over, you know, and I was like, you know, we're talking, we're talking, I was like, hello, yeah, how are you doing? So we started looking at you know, looking at each other. No, no, no. <laughs> at the point, at the point the girl wanted to swallow me. I was like, Are you serious? You know, calm down. So she was like, hey, calm down. We're, we're pretty, we're pretty. Aww. So she was like, you calm down, calm down. You know what? You know, just take me on a date. You mean you're somebody's boyfriend? Like someone will call you boyfriend. <laughs> gay, gay! You are ah! Come on, call her too! I'm so oh. happy for you. High five. Oh. Like, hey. Somebody <laughs> doctor don't find me. Oh! Oh so, goodness. So she said she, you know, take care out to make it official. So mm -hmm. I want I want to take care of oh, no, I want to let's say go on a clubbing. Wait. Club mm -hmm. on the first date. Uh -uh. Club. Uh -huh. where, where do you want me to take it? Oh, come on, Kofo. Okay, fine. You could take her to a nice restaurant. Mm hmm. Resto. Mm -hmm. Resto. My, my alawi is not even in. I don't have that bow. See, if you go to Ghana now, Ghana, you, uh, the Ghana, that, this is hard. If you go to Ghana, Ghana have gone to uh, uh, IMF to collect money. <laughs> and here, too. Okay, but fine. Look, that... look. It doesn't have to be expensive. Okay, if you do not want to do restaurants. Mm -hmm. How about taking her to go see a movie? You know, late night movies. Just the two of you. That's why I'm not moving. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, 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 you know location, so, though. Don't know? worry. Yes. I got you. I got you, bro. Yes. yes. I got you. Who, who is your bro? My you know. Do, at least, you know. After one movie now, after we have, we are like done it, you know what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> see, if, if you see the way the girl was holding me, I held the head, I was like... It's not true! Don't give me the pillow! Why not? I'll chew the pillow! I always thought the saying love at first sight was stupid and unrealistic. I mean, how could anyone just fall in love with 
another person the first time they see them without even as much as a hello or hi. Well, I always thought that way until I saw him today. I don't know if this is love I feel, but I can't stop thinking about him. I close my eyes and all I see is his image. And my heart won't stop racing at the thought of him. Honestly, I don't like this feeling. It's not good for my health. But I can't help it. And I don't know what to do. I've never liked any guy or thought about any guy like this. So does that mean I'm in love? I miss mom. I wish I could just call her and talk to her without her nagging about my whereabouts. This was the only way. If I'm going to die, then I want to leave. <sighs> I have to go to the hospital for my regular checkup. Uncle Martin's booked me an appointment with his colleague. I will go by tomorrow during my break. I wonder what it feels like to be in love or to be loved by a man. Oh well, maybe I will never know. Or maybe I will. So, Irene. Yes, Mom. Here. Okay. Add this to your prescription and start taking it right away from tonight. All right. Well, okay. Don't All worry, right. you'll be fine. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. And be sure to stay away from anything that will stress you out. Anything at all. Physical stress, emotional stress, work stress, any kind of stress you have, stay care of it so you don't get a trigger. Okay? Just take everything easy. I will. Thank you, Mom. And uh, your uncle told me your story. And I must say, I admire your courage. I mean, your determination not to let this sickness hold you down, it's very, very commendable. So you have to keep it up. I mean, I always tell people with the same condition, that they have to live their life. You can't let sickness hold you back. You have to show sickness who's the boss. You have to live your life to the fullest. Hmm? So please keep it up. You'll be okay. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. This word really means a lot to me. Oh. Thank you. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Yes, ma'am. And if you ever need me, I'm just a phone call away. You have my number. All right, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll take my leave now. Please. So you have a wonderful day. You too. And no stress. No stress. Take Thank care. You. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good. So, this, today, we'll be talking about domestic animals and wild animals. Domestic animals are animals that are friends. Animals that are friendly with us. Animals that we can find in our environment. So, who can give me an example of a domestic animal? 
Okay, that is good. You? A dog. Clap for her. A dog. Another one. You? A cat. Clap for him. Okay, now moving on. A wild animal. So, wild animals are animals that we can find in places like the forest, the bush, and wild animals and animals that are not friendly with us. An example of a wild animal, anybody? You? A cheetah. A cheetah! Wow, I'm impressed. Clap for her, please. And another person. You? A fox. A fox. Clap for her. That is so clear. So, you guys, write down. Went into the world and I saw. Reasons to smile. I lived and loved and did all that I wanted. A good day to me has been a lie, and I'm glad that I touched somebody's life. Would you let them take you? Let them change your mind. What if tomorrow? Hi, Dixon. Can I join you? Thank you. So, can you tell me what you're having? What did you say? Dixon. You have to speak up if you want me to hear you, okay? Hmm? Rice. Rice. Hmm. It looks very delicious. Mommy made this. And it tastes good. Alright. Eat your food, okay? Eat up. Good boy. Um, you don't have water? Or it's in your bag? You're bad, right? All right. What did I tell you about putting your head down? I'm sorry, Miss Fury. That's okay. Is this for me? Yes, it is. Thank you. Don't worry. We'll have it together later, okay? You can go back to your seat.
से हैं Okay, I think it's my turn. Sorry, I'm late. Let's go home. Right. How are you doing? I'm great. Great. No hot. Why can't you understand? Spent years and years. Hey. It will not be me anymore. A good day to me is being alive. So I'll live. Mm. Uh, uh, Kofo, uh -huh. what's with the guy next door? Which, which guy? The guy that stays next door to us. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. Oh, God. I don't like that guy. I mean, Kofo. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, hey, Ayo. He's got Ayo. Oh, that's his name? Yeah, he's got Ayo. Okay. Well, what happened? Um, he rushed downstairs and bumped into me. I, I almost fell and he didn't even think to stop and apologize. No, no, what was he saying? Ayo bumped into you. It's over for Ayo. It's, it's over for him. It's, it's just over for Ayo like this. It's, it's over. What happened? And where do you think you're going? I'm going to approach him. Hey, yo, that guy, I'm, I'm just, I, I was all my prayers. I thought that guy to just fall into my trap like this. And that's happening. It's over for him. Kofo, you and I know you can't beat Ayo. And besides, there is no need for violence, okay? No, wait. I, I mean, you say Ayo will beat me. No, the last time James beat me, I was not fit, oh. Ayo can never beat me. I, I swear down. Ayo no. can never beat me. And besides, he's not around. He drove out already. Oh, he drove out. He drove out. Lucky for him. Lucky for him. Now, by now, you will see something. You will see violence. I I'll, I'll beat you now. Well, I don't know. Maybe he didn't mean it. 
Hope you are not hurt. No. But why did you say he is rude and arrogant? Hmm. See, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know that guy. I don't know. He think he's smart, or he, I don't know, he think he's, fa he's a fan boy. You know, boys, boys. We, when we see each other, boys, boys, we do, we do have five. I say, what's up? This boy will see me. This guy will start reading shoulder. Say, yo, you see me raise shoulder. I will pass. You pass. So no, this boy, be careful. And I'll set trap for him. This boy will see me raise shoulder. I will dance. Hmm. See, I still can't stop thinking of him. I nearly had an attack when I saw him at the hospital the other day. Hey yo. Tokofo said he's rude and arrogant. But I'm still very much attracted to him. Yes, I'm annoyed over the staircase thing. But why do I feel there's more to him than meets the eyes? Petra said the same thing the other day. Everyone seems to think he's a monster. Still, my heart keeps racing when I see him. I really need to stop. This isn't good for my health and heart. Anyways, today was a good day. Dixon, such a sweet and kind boy. He's beginning to loosen up, and that makes me really happy. He hugged me today, and my heart instantly melted. I honestly was in awe. He's definitely going to make one hell of a great man. And any girl who ends up with him in the future would be one hell of a lucky girl. I still wonder what it feels like to be loved and loved. Not fairy tale, but real life. I hope I get to feel that before I'm gone. I really hope I do. Why can't you understand? Good morning, class. Good morning. How are you all today? Fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. You all may sit down. Hey, um, where is Dixon? He is not yet in school. Oh, that's strange. Oh, sit down. Okay, so who can guess what we'll be doing today? Hmm? I'm sure you don't know because I haven't told you yet. <laughs> today we'll be learning English. So, learning figures of speech. See what you are doing. Movint, see what you are doing. Don't be selfish, Movint. Don't, don't be selfish. Pass, pass them. Bakayoko is calling you. You are not giving more. Oh. What's all this? Oh, hello. See, 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 see what you are doing. This shift. Oh, sorry. Um, Come on. This shift. How are you? Indomie is there. I, I cook Indomie. Plenty of Indomie is in the kitchen. Look at how your mind, soul, and body is in this thing you're watching. Ah, you got they got football no, something. As I'm talking to you now, Messi is at Chelsea now. Messi is at Chelsea. You know, yeah. Bayern Munich is calling him. Uh, see, see Ronaldo, but see Ronaldo is flexing. No, he, he doesn't want to go. Mm. The love for football is just uh, something else. Please, where is Petra? Okay, but uh, she, she's in my room. Oh, she's in your room. After Karina is on. You know, he's sleeping, she's sleeping. Come, we'll get to talk. Come on, 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 come
Hi. I um I came to apologize about the other day I ran into you. I was really in a hurry that I couldn't stop to apologize. I'm really sorry, okay? I hope you weren't bruised. No, no. It, I wasn't. Okay. Sorry again. It's fine. Um, is your boyfriend in? My boyfriend? Yes, the guy you stay with. Kofo? <laughs> no, he's not my boyfriend. We're just flatmates. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he's your, you know, boyfriend. No. You want to see him? Yes, please. Okay, um, I'll get to you. Someone wants to see you. Who is that? Uh. Uh, he's coming. Okay. <laughs> Hey man. Yeah, man. What's up? I'm good. Yeah. Um sorry about the other day we met. I was really rude to you, okay? And um ever since then I've not really had a chance to stop by and apologize. The thing is I had a rough day, so I took it out on you. I'm sorry, man. So you came to apologize. So you came to apologize, you didn't even bring parcel or a flower to compensate me. That you're not romantic, oh. Be romantic. Oh, did you die five months ago? That was five months ago. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry it took this long, okay? What's up? This guy uh, he came to apologize. He came to apologize. You didn't bring flowers or parcel, you know. He apologized then. Maybe he's not rude and arrogant after all. Eh. Huh. The guy is best. Like, like a good guy. Huh. For him to have apologized, then he's a good guy. Huh. Mm -hmm. good guy. Yes. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. I have had wonderful remarks about your class from other teachers and pupils. In fact, most of their parents called and speak highly about their children's performance. Oh, I am so proud of you. Thank you. You came in and you made a difference. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. You know, I love to teach and I love kids. Mm. I'm glad I could make an impact. The kids adore you. Speaking of kids, there is a particular kid that has not been in school for some days now. And I'm so worried about him. Really? Yes, ma'am. Who's that? His name is Dixon Davis. The last time I saw him was on Monday. So I was hoping if I could go visit his mom to find out why he hasn't been in school. Yeah, you can. You can call. There's the number you can reach him with. can get it on his file. Yes, I have it. I just wanted to seek your permission before I go ahead. Ah, that's fine. Just go ahead. Hmm? You keep me posted, that's all. All right, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Take my leave. Have a nice day. Yes, ma'am. Oh, hello. Good day, Ma. Yes, Ma. My name is Miss Irene. Um, Ma. Dixon has not been in school for some time now, and I've been so worried. Yes, Ma. What? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ma. Please, do you mind if I come see him at the hospital after school? Yes, ma, I'll be there. I'll be there. Please send the address to me. 
Okay, ma, thank you. The doctor says it's at the end stage. He has lost 80% of his kidney function. 80. 80. Ah! This, this was the cause of most of his defects. All of his defects. And all the while I was thinking something was wrong with my boy spiritually. Now I see the reason for his learning problems. Now I know why he can barely concentrate or, or socialize with other kids. The same reason he constantly bedwets. I would scold and yell every time. He couldn't control his blood. I'm ashamed. I failed him. I failed him. No. If I had sought medical attention the moment I noticed, we wouldn't be here today. Instead, I allowed my mother to get into my head, saying it was all manner of spiritual attack. We kept going from one church to another, saying my son was cursed. I was thinking my son was cursed. How? Why? Huh? It's not your fault, okay? You didn't know all of this. No. It's my fault. I should have known. I was supposed to know. That is why I'm his mother. But I have been a terrible mother. I have been a terrible, terrible mother. Oh. No, you're not. You're not a terrible mother, Mrs. Davis. Dixon know all of this and he'll be fine. This is not a death sentence. Not when he needs a transplant. Oh. He needs a transplant? <clears throat> The doctor says he has chronic kidney disease and that this type really goes away with medical treatment and that it, it gets worse over time. He gave us two options. It is either we continue with dialysis or he gets a transplant. I immediately offered I immediately offered, but as if God was punishing me, my kidney is not strong enough. My kidney is not strong enough, and his father is no more. Irene, his father is no more. <sighs> the doctor said he will continue with dialysis, depending on when. We get a perfect match. What happens when we don't get a donor? What if we don't get a perfect match? What happens to my son? No. I can't afford to lose him. I can't lose that boy. He's the only thing I've got in this world. I can't. I can't lose him. I'm not going to lose you. I won't lose you. I won't lose you, Dixie. I will not. Hey, Dixie. How are you feeling? So... It's okay. You don't need to stress yourself. Everyone at school misses you. I called your mom and 
She told me everything. I'm so sorry. I'm sick, my kidney is bad, and I need a new one. Yes. But mommy is doing everything possible to get you a new one. Okay? So, so mommy's going to have my birthday party. You'll be fine. You'll be fine before your birthday party, okay? I promise you that you'll be fine. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? It's 9 p.m., Irene. You've never come back late before. We tried calling your number, but it was switched off. Performers went to the police. The police? Yes. <laughs> Please. It's not funny. This is not funny. Mm. Yes, yeah, so just have a wait for 24 hours before going to the police. We both went to inquire at places where you used to go to, like the orphanage, the school where you teach. Hey yo, you meant the guy next door? Yeah. Let me even call them. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, baby. She's back. She's fine. Mm. Where am I now? Stop coming back, please. Don't get away. What happened? Mm. Nothing serious. I was at the hospital. Are you alright? Are you fine? Yes, I'm fine. It's one of my students. He's sick. Oh. And he was hospitalized, so I just went to visit him at the hospital. I'm sorry to have scared you guys. My phone was off and I wasn't with my charger. How is he? What's wrong with him? He has chronic kidney disease. Jeez, kidney disease? I thought that affects alcoholics only. I thought so too until today. Children can also have it through various causes. And his is hereditary. His father died of kidney failure. It broke my heart to see him that way. And then I finally understood that it wasn't his fault. What do you mean? You know, people always term him the dumbest kid in class. He, he, he is slow in learning. He can't talk properly. He's he doesn't socialize. He even pee on himself, even in school. Everyone always laugh and mock at him. Not knowing that he's sick and struggling. And all this while everyone has just been making fun of him. That's so terrible. I never knew kidney disease can have such effect on children. Frankly, yes. And he's at the end stage. Oh and his only close relative, his mom, is not too much. 
Oh God, no. What would they do? Right now he's on dialysis treatment. We're praying and hoping that he finds a matching donor so. He's too young, huh? I mean, no, what, what happened? Oh, Charlie! Um, I'm so sorry, I had a very low battery. Oh, my phone was off. She was at the hospital, her people were sick. I'm sorry for getting you worried. Okay, I guess I'll take my leave now. Irene, I'm glad you're safe, okay? Thank you. Yo, guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. you for yeah. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Good night. Good night. Uh, Good night. Good night. Thank you. Don't worry. You'll be alright. Okay. okay. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, <clears throat> but I'm happy I have people that care about me. That's so sweet. You scared me, you scared me, you scared me, you scared me. You have to know that me, I, I, I'm responsible for, for you. <laughs> That's my big brother. Oh. I'm sorry. Hey, you scared me. The way you were watching the guy, I saw you. you it's like you, you like the guy. He is gay. He likes you. I mean, what was that? What was what? I saw you. What was, what was that? I, what, what, was, what was that darling cop now? Like this guy, you like him. Like who? Hey, yo. What are you guys talking about? The way the guy was going, oh, look just... at the way you look at him. Just keep him away. <sighs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. I need to go in <laughs> and shower. You tell me about your boy. He'll be blushing. Okay, He'll be blushing. He'll be rolling in her eyes. You are in love, Abby. <laughs> you are in love. You're okay. You are in love. I missed you. I missed you too. I missed you too. Today has been the worst day of my five months in this town. Just when I thought nothing could go wrong, this happened. Dixon has been diagnosed of chronic kidney disease. The poor boy. God. Why? Why would you let this happen to such a sweet kid? Please don't let anything worse happen. He deserves to live a healthy, happy life. Don't let him suffer like I did. Please, let it do not be found quickly. I feel so blessed. I came here and got friends. People who genuinely care about me, besides mom and Uncle Martins. Kofo. Petra, and I guess Ayo. Ayo, he actually joined Kofu to search for me. I still can't stop thinking about him. But right now, all I can think of is Dixon. He will be fine. He must be. Please, God. Went into the world and I saw reasons to smile I lived and loved and did all that I wanted A good day to me has been a life And I'm glad that I touched somebody's life Don't you let them take, don't let them change your mind what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until it's done.
Mrs. Davis. Good morning. Oh, Karen. Good morning, dear. How are you? I'm fine. <coughs> Look at you. You need to go home and freshen up. Don't worry, I'll look after this. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. I I want to, okay? I want to. And besides, you need to freshen up and change. Right. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Um, I'll be back before you know it. Take your time. I'll be here. In case he wakes up, just tell him I just stepped out and I'll be back. No problem. Thank you so much. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. You'll be fine. Nothing would happen to you. Oh, Dr. Grace. Irene, what are you doing here? Um, I'm here for Dixon. He's my pupil. Oh, I see. And Mrs. Davis? Oh, she just stepped out, uh, but she'll be back. I'll be here till she comes. Oh, she actually didn't inform me. Anyway, how, how are you doing now? How are you feeling now? I'm great. And how is he doing? Actually, it's very bad. I can't go into details right now. It's very bad. I understand. Dixon, you're awake. Hi, Dixon. Hello, Dixon. How are you today? It's hot. Oh, so sorry, darling. That will make you feel better. I'm sure you feel better already, do you? <laughs> Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. Once uh, Mrs. Davis comes around, please tell her to see me in my office. I have to run now because we need to attend to the patients. All right, Doctor. Thank you so much. Dixon, you will be fine.
Why can't you understand? Spent years and years scared of the day I'll be gone. But from now on, it will not be me anymore. A good day to me is been alive. So I'll live and get enough of this life. I won't let this pull me down. So don't try to change my mind. So what is tomorrow? Ta -da! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Bunch of women. <laughs> Bunch of women. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs>
Não sei. Não sei. No, Irene, I can't let you do that. You know your condition. He still has a chance at life. I'm sure of that. Please, let's just run the test. Are you, are you, are you, are you sure? Yes, I am. I am. Okay, if that's what you want. Yes. So you come with me. Okay. Irene, Irene, you, 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 do you think this is, is, is a good idea? Eh? What if something goes wrong? Yeah, I, I mean, it's not like I don't want Dixon to get better, but there should be another way out. Yeah. He's running out of time. I can't just stay back and do nothing. I have two healthy kidneys. I'm sure I can survive with one. <sighs> Once the test is out and the result is a match, I'll go through with it. My prayer now is that I hope it's a match. But, um, have you told your parents about this? Not yet. Well, I think you should. Yeah. They deserve to know, just in case. So you have to tell your mother. Because we are talking about kidney here, or kidney. I'll call her. And the sense of time So the world You'll know that I left something behind Went into the world and I saw reasons to survive I lived and loved and did all that I wanted A good way to me Come in. And I'm glad that I touched somebody's life. But you let them take, let them change your mind. You're the never come. Hi. How are you? So, have you spoken to your parents? Parents? Mm -hmm. I just have one parent, yeah. that's my mom, and no, I, I haven't spoken to her through any means possible, and I don't want that. Well, that's just her being a mother. My mom wouldn't have let me either. She was my world. Was? Yeah. She passed a few months back. I... I I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, oh, the night I ran into you. I had just gotten a call from the hospital. I was rushing to be there in time, but uh, it was just too late. I didn't even get to say goodbye. I'm really sorry. No, uh, it's fine. I'm not even good at goodbyes anyway. And, uh, I don't think I would ever be used to it. Or maybe I don't want to. You know, people in my life just leave me. My dad left me when I was seven because I hated that man and still do. 
my elder brother. He was in the army. He died in the battlefield. We didn't even have a proper burial. You know, there was no corpse to bury. And finally, the only family I had left, my mom, died of breast cancer. You know, sometimes I just have this feeling that I'm cursed. Why can't you understand? Everyone in my life just end up leaving, you know? I, that's exactly why I don't let people into my life because I'm scared of losing them. Really sorry. No. I know it must have been really hard on you. No, mind me. I, I don't even know why I'm telling you all of this, you know. I've never really had to open up about myself to anyone. I also find it hard to open up. There's something I've always wanted to tell you since the first day I saw you. Really? What is it? Come on, you can't talk to me about anything, you know? Trust me. I guess I have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm in love with you. Footprints on the sands of time, so the world will know that I left something behind. No girl has ever said those words to me first, you know. And I'm glad I'm your first. A good day to me has been alive. And I'm glad that I touched somebody's life. But you let them take, don't let them change your mind. So? It's a match. It is. <laughs> my God. <gasps> this is the best news of my life. I can imagine. I'm so happy. Oh. So, where can we proceed with the transplant? Irene, are you absolutely sure about this? I mean, given your condition, anything can happen. I'm aware, doctor. But my mind is made up. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, fine. If um, that's what you want. In that case, you'll need somebody to sign some documents for you. I'll get your uncle online. I'll oh, just no, call no, him. No, no, please. You can't tell him until the transplant is done. I mean... Please, Kofa would help me with the documents. Are you sure about this? Totally sure about this? All right then. I'll, uh, I'll get the documents ready in a few minutes. Mrs. Davis, congratulations, it's a match. <laughs> yes, 
So we'll proceed with the operation in three days. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ari. Thank you. My God will bless you. My God will bless you. My God will bless you, my soul will leave. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why can't you understand? Spent years and years scared of the day I'll be gone. But from now on, it will not be me anymore. A good day to me has been a lie So I'll live and get enough of this life I won't let this pull me down So don't try to change my mind So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last so what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until it's time. So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight and live my life like it's my last. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until it's time. I will leave footprints on the sands of time so the world You'll know that I left something behind Went into the world and I saw reasons to smile I lived and loved and did all that I wanted A good day to me has been a lie And I'm glad that I touched somebody's life don't you let them take, don't let them change your mind What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last What if tomorrow hey, Alama Okay, okay ma Oh my, everything is fine, everything is fine. Yeah, we are holding her down here. Yes, yes. Oh, oh really? Oh really? Oh, no problem. No, I, I, I will personally do that. Oh, don't worry, ma. Ma, everything is fine. Ma, no, no problem, ma. No problem. I will make sure it happens. Thank you, ma. All right, ma. Whatever you say, ma. Good night. Good night, ma. <laughs> so what did she say? What else would she say? What else would she say? She said we shouldn't allow her to go near the school until she's fully recovered. So, uh, my sister in Christ, they say you are not going near the school until you are fully recovered. That means one month house arrest. <laughs> mm. Come on. I mean, I'm going to be fine in less than a week. Well, <laughs> until then, you are stuck at home. You're really a great person, Irene. What you did for that kid was amazing. I wouldn't, but you did. God bless your heart. I'm so glad you're all right. Me too. But I'm happy Dixon will get a chance at life. Me too. I'm most happy. You know what? I want to go clubbing. Ah! What? No, you can't. Why? I mean, I've never been to the club before, so... Ha. I'd like to experience it before I go. Gone where? Oh, I mean... Gone, like, go back to the house after my service. I just, the point is, I want to go clubbing. Clubbing, Irene. Are you, are you, do you know, do you know, as I said, do you know that you have, you just had your major surgery now? Okay, you want to go to the club and go and trek. 
Karibi. Really? Kofo. I'm fine. I'm strong. I mean, I've been out for a week now, so I'm strong enough. And besides, you all are going to be there to take care of me, right? So let's go. Really? Oh, come on. No, you know what? You, 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 we'll go to the club. No, we're fighting. You know what? Fighting. Kofo, a good day to me is being alive. Yes. When I wake up and look around and say to myself, I'm still here. And then pinch myself to actually make sure I'm still alive. Look, all I'm trying to say is, what if tomorrow never comes? We all need to live in the present. We all need to live for now. I mean, let's just go. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know what now. Are you a seer now? Do, do, you, do you see things? <laughs> hey, why are you talking as if you are you are, you, you will die tomorrow? Yes. Don't let me change. In fact, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. We are not going. No, we we will turn this house now. I will, I will own blue light now. You will do Cardi B in this room. No, I'm not going again. Well, we're going, and that's final. And I actually have the perfect outfit for this occasion. So, Petra, let's go get ready. You know what I mean. Me. Mm -hmm. Damn girl. I've never seen you look this hot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I <coughs> are you okay? <coughs> are you okay? Oh my I really <coughs> have this place some water. Some water. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm okay. I I guess I laughed too hard. <coughs> I'm good. Come on. I mean, Come listen, on, listen, me. listen. We can just let this be. We don't have to go to the party. Like, your head is more important. So why should we go anywhere if you're not? Hatra, I'm fine. I really want to go to this party. Come on. I'm dressed already. And I am ready to party. Mm -hmm. I insist. That's good then. Hey! Party time, yeah? Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> Waiting yeah, for you! Get this going. Hi mom, if you're reading this, then I guess your greatest fear came to manifestation. I'm so sorry mom. Please don't try to blame yourself for my death. You did your very best to take good care of me. You are the best mother any child could ask for. And if I had a chance to come back again, I'd still choose you. We both knew this day was bound to come. I'm sorry we didn't get the chance to say our goodbyes. Please forgive me. 
I want you to know that I couldn't have asked for a better mother. Tyre is a great man and I'm at peace knowing that he will take good care of you and you will go on to have more kids. Please be happy now. For me, but most especially for yourself, I will always be with you and you with me. I love you forever. Sarkofoli. Remember the first day we met? You said God had answered your prayers by sending me to you. But actually, he answered my prayers. You were God sent. I could never guess what I ever did to deserve you. You are the big brother I've always wanted. <laughs> Footprints on the sands of time So the world You'll know that I left something behind I will leave I'm grateful to God that room was vacant Thank you for convincing me to stay Sorry I didn't tell you a lot I know you'd never let me go through with that surgery. I'm going to miss you so much. How you scream at the TV whenever you're watching your team play. How you laugh. How you joke. How you make me rush on when you have just. Thank you for making my last days the best. I will never forget those memories, even in that. I love you, big brother. You are the best. Petra is one hell of a lucky girl. And so are you. Promise me you will take care of each other, even if things ever go south. Petra. My bestie. With her, I understood what genuine friendship was, and I'm grateful for that. Please tell her I love her. I will see you guys on the other side. Love always, Irene. To the best uncle in the world. You came into my life and filled the position I thought I would miss. You were my father, hero, friend, and confidant. I couldn't have asked for a better. Thank you for all you did. Thank you for loving me like your own. I'm grateful to God that I had you. Please, take care of my mom for me. And tell Coco I did it. And she's the best cousin ever. I love you, Uncle Martins. A good day to me has been a life. So I'll live and get enough of this life I won't let this pull me down So don't try to change my mind So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until 
it's time So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last Hey my boy I told you I wasn't going to let anything happen to you. You were my purpose on earth. And I'm more than happy to have been able to fulfill that purpose. You were great, Dixon. You were born to shine and excel. To live to your greatest capacity. And that is exactly what I want you to do. Promise me. Promise me you will never let anything or anyone put you down or put off your light. Shine, my boy. Shine. I love you. Hey yo, I remember the first time I saw you, my heart raced so fast, I thought it was going to explode. In that moment, I knew it was love at first sight. I loved you before I even knew you. And then, I got to know you, and I realized I was right for loving you. I'm sorry I've left like everyone else did. I'm sorry I couldn't stay to change the narrative. I want you to know that you're not cursed. You are awesome. You are loved. I wish we had more time. But thank you for the butterflies in my tummy. For the way my heart skipped. And for making me feel loved. I promise I'll be the last person to leave. Please don't shut your heart out. Let people in. Let someone love you. I am at peace knowing that I love the man called Ayo in my lifetime. In another life, I am not letting you go. Not even to death. I love you, Ayo. Always and forever. Enough of this life. I won't let this pull me down. So don't try to change my mind. So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last. So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until it's time. So what if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight and live my life like it's my last. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until it's time. I will leave the friends and the sense of time so the world You'll know that I left something behind 
Went into the world and I saw reasons to smile. I lived and loved and did all that I wanted. A good day to me has been alive, and I'm glad that I touched somebody's life. Don't you let them take, don't let them change your mind. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until it's time. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll fight to live my life like it's my last. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow never comes? I'll live and thrive and I'll fight until it's time. If tomorrow never comes, I'll fight and live my life like it's my last. What if tomorrow never comes? What if tomorrow?